Chris Kelly, just a quick video on foam rolling the lats. Okay, we have a couple options. Um, first and foremost, we're going to use a traditional foam roller. Okay, with this, I'm going to start at the base of my rib cage here. Okay, so I'm right here. I'm at the sort of the middle of my rib cage on my side. Um, what I'm going to do is just extend my arms out and roll from the my my uh, armpit here all the way to again about the base of my rib cage. I'm going to I'm going to go over just a bump or a bunch of muscles in certain. This is really kind of the area that most people, you know, feel more than anything. And I tell people, you know, that bump is your reference point. That's kind of where you want to be. You just kind of glide along, forward, back over that area. What I can also do is when I find that bump, I can press down into that, in that space there and rotate from side to side. You'll notice with this that I'm using my foot here as a fulcrum. So I'm getting my foot down and I'm pressing myself along. For those that can't do that necessarily, you can also just kind of like find that spot, have them hold in that area and press down and just rotate side to side. You know, then tell them to just move their body up a little bit. You know, those that might have a little bit of coordination trouble with that, that's possible. And again, I'm looking for anywhere from 10 to 15 rolls for that area in general. Um, if, we're, if we're looking to really work on that area and focus on that area, you know, we might spend up to, you know, 30 to 50 rolls there. Um, our, another option, a bit more focused, would be a medicine ball. Okay, I love medicine balls because they're um, they're an odd shape. They can kind of help us to get into areas that we couldn't otherwise. And again, same rules apply. I'm pressing into that area. I'm just rolling forward back over that area, and I can move side to side over that area. All right, there you go.